the CMA Foundation is the kinder, gentler, happier face of CMA. It's the thing that is aspirational for us as an organization. The foundation is the community hall, separate and distinct, but a part of CMA, but a major player in the community for physicians. Things that it set out to do and has done effectively is address uh, cutting edge issues in healthcare, affecting communities and individuals around the state, and putting together programs to address those and improve the health status of individual communities around the state. That's what we do. For more than 50 years, the CMA Foundation has found its way into the lives of Californians. What started in 1963 as a way for doctors to support medical students, the Foundation has grown into a world-class organization focused on developing public health programs for California. People don't trust their lawyers, they don't trust uh, their insurance company, they trust doctors. And so when the physician says you need to make this change in your life, people listen. We have sort of instant credibility uh, when we're advocating for a particular program uh, because of who we are and where we come from. Some incredible programs have been started, including the Tobacco-Free Pharmacy Partnership, the AWARE Campaign. If you're not feeling well, visit your doctor and let them prescribe the right drug for the right bug. The Diabetes Quality Improvement Project. One of our very biggest uh, uh, areas of of attack has been uh, on diabetes, how it affects our entire society, and then how you tie together the whole problem with obesity. The Cervical Cancer Screening and Adolescent Vaccination Project, the Obesity Prevention Project, and NEPO. As these positions play a major role in what we call a safety net positions. These are the positions who treat the poor and who treat those who have very limited insurance. Well, NEPO is important because we live in the most diverse state in America. The medical community needs to reflect that diversity. What I see as a, as a major challenge in delivering health care is who is going to be available to do it. How is it going to be possible having access to physician populations that can deliver care to people that don't have it now uh, is an opportunity that is absolutely mind-boggling. The Foundation serves as a central voice for doctors in California, relaying a message of awareness, understanding, and trust. The Foundation continues to support medical students across the state. Meet medical student Dane Jackson. Have you ever given blood before or had your blood drawn? Yes. Okay, how'd it go? My name is Dane Jackson, and I'm a third year medical student here at UC Davis. We're in the Salvation Army, where the Willow Clinic takes place. Primarily what we do is we provide free health care to uh, the homeless population. I walked around a whole bunch. The real thing that we're limited by here is resources, especially since it's all volunteer based. Whenever we come up with an idea to help improve our patient care abilities or try to help more people in a single day, the foundation has been there to help us. You know, there isn't a whole lot of bureaucracy. Every single dollar goes right to a addressing change for a patient or right to a diabetic medication for a patient. It's actually been really inspiring um, that, uh, you know, the foundation, you know, actually noticed such a small clinic. And, you know, what that's done for me is that it's really shown me that uh, medicine is a community and that doctors look out for each other. As they say, grow old along with me, the best is yet to be. <laughs> I believe that's true of the foundation.